Mac Voices is supported by Smile, the makers of world-class software like Text Expander. Find out about all their great utilities at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at the Super Meet in Las Vegas. Folks, I found Dave Pond5 hiding back here in the corner, and I was anxious to talk to him because Dave Pond5 was part of the uh, Final Cut Post Without Limits event last night, yeah. uh, showing off some of the new capabilities of Final Cut, and Pond5 is built into it. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's, It just makes things so much easier for editors right now. You, know, you take, to, take it to a point where you don't have to go to a website, you're within the program itself. You pull up a little plug-in and you search for the things you want to look at. It downloads a very, very small file, 10 megs, into your timeline. Watermarked, obviously, because we got to protect our artists. Sure. And you know, just like if you like it, maybe you throw some filters on it, some color correction, a crossfade, a fade in, fade out. If you like it, you get approval. You purchase the clip. It takes two clicks. It's going to download the high-res version and then it's going to replace it automatically in the timeline and it's going to save all your settings, all the color changes you made, all the filters you threw on there, the crossfades, the fade-ins, the fade-outs, all that. It makes an editor's life so much easier. It, it really does, Chuck. Okay, so we, I need, we, we both need to step back because some of our listeners and viewers may not know what Pond5 is. Pond5 is stock material, stock it's video. It's the media marketplace for videos. We have over 10 million videos. We're the largest video stock marketplace in the world. And the reason for that is we do a 50-50 split with our artists because we believe that our artists should get paid just as much as we do for the content they are creating. Places like Shutterstock will give them 30%, maybe 25, right, depending on how big of an artist they are. And they also price it for them. Now, what we believe in is if you're going on to an Antarctica, right, and you're shooting a very specific video in a very hard to shoot location, if you want to price that at $700, you should, because it costs you that much to go there. You know, so our average clip price is at $60 right now, but obviously if you're shooting uh, whales in, uh, in the ocean, you should make a little more money for that. If a big uh, agency is using your content, you should make more money for that as well. So it's all about treating the artists well and also making sure that the people that are using your service can use it in a budget-friendly space. I think the video clip that was shown last night was uh, of a supermoon um, yeah. setting, and you know, and and I noticed the price, and it's like, okay, you know, the supermoon doesn't come around that often. Somebody had to be at exactly the right spot at exactly the right time to capture it. Yeah, they they deserve to be paid. They do, of course they do. You know, they're they're taking time out of their schedule, they're renting equipment, they're going out there, they're they're taking at least six, eight hours out of their time to go out there and prepare for this, and they should be paid something more than $30, you know? Like, they should price it at $200, $300. Got a very good three, uh, 360 VR market right now as well. That's going for $300 and $400. People are going out there, taking their time. They're a minute, a minute and a half. You know, it's, it's a lot of really good content out there. Now, let's go back to Final Cut, because you said I can download a 10 meg file and if I decide to purchase it, you know, it, it comes back automatically. Yeah. But you mentioned that it saves all my adjustments and everything. Yeah. So the quality of the of the uh, the comp that I'm getting down is good enough that I can do those corrections and not have to go back and revisit them. Yeah, because when you think about it, when you're editing, you're on a computer, maybe. 23 inches, 26 inches, maybe 32 inches, right? And you're also working within Premiere or Final Cut, so you have a small window to the top right corner. You're not looking at a huge screen. You might throw it into a full screen every once in a while, but you understand what you're going for. So you don't need to project it 60 inches. You know what you're looking for. So once you understand what you like and you have approval, you have all your settings in there, you a little bit of a color correction, maybe a crossfade, uh, cross dissolve, and then you, when you, when the producers like it, you just purchase it. It takes two clicks. You put your password in. It charges your credit card. It starts downloading the high res automatically. It replaces it in the timeline, and it keeps every setting. That's that's impressive. My friends are editors in the industry, and it, it's amazing for them. Yeah. Well, it, to your point, you know, it saves so much time it's, and effort. It cuts your time by half, and lets you see the the stock in your project. Exactly. Exactly, 100%. We also just released a, a visual similarity tool. What it does is this. Let's say you're on Google and you, you look for a, a, a picture. Let's say it's a hot air balloon, right? 
what our uh, extension on Chrome, Firefox, Safari, everything, it lets you crop a specific frame in your desktop. And what's going to happen, it's going to take you to another screen, it's going to ask you, do you want footage or do you want images? Right? You pick whichever one you want, and then it's going to search our whole inventory for either that same specific video or image or things that are extremely similar to it. And that way you can compare prices, you can compare quality and go with what you like. So if I choose to, I don't know, a, a, a table, an image of a table, it's going to show me multiple images of tables. Yeah, it's going to recognize exactly what the frame is looking at and it's going to give you very, very similar content. A lot of the times it will be the same video because we have over 10 million videos. Shutterstock has, they count it as double. If they have a 4K and HD, they count that as two, even though it's the same video. We have over 10 million, 10 and a half now, and we count it as just one. If it's a video, it doesn't matter if it's at 720, 1080, 4K, we still count it as one. So there's a lot of cross-pollination that's going on. And we have over 3 million more than everybody else. So odds are we have that same video, unless it's exclusivity. Yeah, and at this point, we need search tools and things like that, because with 10 million videos, how am I ever going to find exactly. exactly what I yeah. want? You know, maybe a producer tells you, I want something like this. So you throw it into the visual similarity tool, it pulls it up within five seconds. It's amazing. It's going to cut out so much workflow time. That's yeah. great. Please save me time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the website where folks can go to learn more about all this stuff. Pond5.com. Yeah. Uh, we have, a, we have a, a number on there, an email on there. If they ever need any help, they can call us. It leads right back to me or three other people. We're a very small team when it comes to talking to our clients. We want to make sure they're being taken care of. Email is the same thing. Is we only have three or four people working. So we, uh, we treat our customers well, and we want to make sure they're being taken care of. Yeah. Dave, thanks so much for the time. Chuck, good talking to you. Good, good to see you. Have a good one. Go get some dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, we'll have more from the Super Meet in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.